Hello, my name is Molly Mansfield and I am a senior at Swanee, the University of the South. I am an environmental arts and humanities major and a religion minor. My focus has been on spiritual ecology and how to use a spiritual approach to address environmental and social justice issues. The three most consistent passions in my life have always been my interest in spirituality, the natural world, and connecting with others through civic and community engagement. Service work has played an integral role in my life since I was eight years old, and as I have grown, so has my love for service. This love continues to shape me and my understanding of the world. In high school, I served as a member and co-chair of our school's service council. This experience instilled in me a lifelong love for developing intentional relationships with individuals and encouraged me to apply to be a Bonner leader. Time as a Bonner leader has been the most valuable education that I have received in my four years at Swanee. It has provided me with leadership qualities such as communication strengths, organization skills, and educated me on how to effectively use my passions to better serve others. I have had an unusual Bonner experience and I've worked with a total of nine community sites. Although it took me a while to find my place, I am grateful for this experience because it allowed me to diversify my understanding of the Swanee community. I believe the reason it took me so long to find my site was because I was clinging to ideas of how I was to participate in service and those were not offered at Swanee. In order for me to find my path, I had to let go of ideas of who I was and what I could do and open myself to new interests. Growing up, I felt as if my academic success did not express my love for learning. It took until my sophomore year of college to realize that there were many ways of learning and that I could apply my unique passions to both a career and an academic field. This realization took place in a class called Religion and Ecology, where we explored the intersection of religion, people, and the natural world. In this class, I learned that environmental injustice correlates with social injustice, and I was inspired to find a way to use religion to address environmental and social issues. This realization led me to find my place working with the Organic Prayer Project at St. Mary's Episcopal Convent. St. Mary's is a women's Benedictine community within the Episcopal Church that expresses its way of life through care for the body, the soul, and the earth. The sisters at St. Mary's use their spiritual faith as a means to create environmental change. For example, at St. Mary's, we combine prayer and planting through working in a completely organic garden, an activity which the sisters believe puts one in harmony with the natural world. At St. Mary's, I work with the sisters to produce and sell homemade jams, which are made of fruits grown at the convent. My work also includes assisting the sisters with planning and hosting monthly contemplative prayer services, which focus on the correlation between the environment and spirituality, and aims to educate the community about this connection. I am also the co-director of a program called Earth Keepers, where I plan and host community meetings discussing the relationship between spirituality and the environment. These experiences have affirmed my passions and my belief that religion can be a useful tool towards creating more environmentally conscious communities. They have also provided me with the skills to engage in dialogue about this subject. In addition, I spent the fall of 2016 studying Buddhism in Bodh Gaya, India. The education I received was unlike any I had ever experienced. Not only was I pushed academically, but also physically, spiritually, and emotionally. The two most life-changing aspects of my abroad experience was a month-long independent study project I conducted in northern India on the relationship between Buddhism and the environment and taking my bodhisattva vows. In the Buddhist tradition, a bodhisattva is a being that has vowed to commit their life to strive for the well-being and liberation of others. Therefore, by adopting these vows, I have committed to living a life of service and compassion. When my program ended, I was heartbroken. I felt as if I had just scratched the surface of all that I was capable of doing. However, I left with a fire that would linger and inspire me to adopt a Buddhist practice and strengthen how I interact with service work. As I grow, my experience with service and community engagement continues to evolve. I have always known that service was my passion, but now I can no longer separate my academic, service, and personal interests. They are all a part of who I am. I can no longer consider it service, it is just me being and living in a way that I want to live. In the future, I am certain that my commitment to service and spiritual ecology will continue to grow. My experience as a Bonner leader has shown me the attitude I must have to work in the nonprofit world, 
the importance of finding meaning and purpose in my work, and that for me, connecting with people and place is a crucial component to creating a life that is deeply rewarding.